Now I know what you're all thinking, and that does not look like Hollywell Golf Club, and yes, you'd be right. But you also may be thinking, that is not a head cover that I recognize either. And you'd also be right. Yeah, today's video first of all comes from Quinta de Marina in Cascai in Portugal and we're here with Glencore Golf and I'll talk about that a little bit later but more importantly what is under that head cover and why is this driver quite possibly perfect for average golfers. So I'm going to play from a position where I teed up yesterday and tried this driver for the first time to be honest with you and uh, well we hit a fairly good tee shot so we'll try it and do the same today. What I found yesterday was that uh, what this company claims this driver does i think it might just do it you know what a carry ball again the ball speeds are incredibly fast or at least i'm driving the ball a long way now that could be the fact that i'm driving okay or it could be that this club is doing what it says so what is the club and what do they claim it does Let's make the reveal as to what is under this head cover. I'm stood, by the way, in the middle of the fairway, and that is my ball. And I reckon it's probably a good 260 down the fairway as well. So, like I said, ball speeds and how far I've drove this ball over the last few days has been super impressive. And what is it? Right, first of all, before I get to that even, the head cover is really nice as well. I'm always impressed with a good quality head cover. But everything about this product is quality. It's from Zexio. Now, up until a few days ago, and I mean yesterday, I'd never tried any product out of this brand's range. It's a Japanese brand, very premium in its quality, comes with a bit of a price tag as well. And this driver that I'm looking at today came out in 2022 so it's nothing new but it's certainly new in terms of the mainstream market that as I know it it is in fact the Zexio 10 model let's just have a quick look at the way this thing looks at a dress and just overall aesthetics right so let's start with that styling and looks and shelf appeal first of all and the question is to you really if that's sat there looking at you on the shelf are you going to pick that one up bit of shiny chrome fairly minimal in its marking some visible weighting system as well and yes I'm prepared to give that one a go on a looks perspective off the shelf but how important is that well perhaps not but then when you turn it over to the crown and the address position Position, I do think that's where it is important from a visual aspect. It's got a gloss finish and it's also got some very visible markings that you will see in and around that accentuate part of the technology which is that bit in about the heel which we'll talk about later but also very much sort of directional markings into guiding you into the center of that club face. So let me know from a looks perspective is that something that you're going to go for yourselves or like me is there perhaps a little bit too much going on on that crown? before i go any further and try and find uh, a nice little wedge into this tucked away pin quick question for you how many of you actually played zexio product in the past and uh, how accessible is it as far as you're aware because that's going to be a key thing for me i could give an absolutely glowing review and so far i'm liking what i'm seeing and trying but can you get all of these things that's the key anyway back to the wedge shot is not a Zexio product by the way come on it's got a carry it's got a carry oh hello that could be good we didn't quite manage that birdie which uh, I was hoping you could stick around and see Right, I'm actually reviewing another Exio product right now, which uh, I'm about to play this shot from, which by the way, is in the middle of the fairway. Again, that drive you see me hit was, well, two things that I just want to mention. First of all, if I ever review a product, it's never just in a quick round of golf and just a few hits with this thing. I like to put it through its paces. So I was out yesterday, first of all, first of all with this Exio 10 driver. And I've got to say some of the shots that you'll see me play now over the 18 hole period, I was really impressed with. Really steady, found the fairway. I liked again this kind of whole concept of the counterbalance we'll talk about that in the shaft later um, but I really like that idea it really seems to uh, slow down the tempo but this shot that you see me hit here I pretty much duplicated yesterday came in the same position and that was the ability to just hit that little bit of a fade but also the ability to move this thing from right to left as well it's just all over uh, really had me impressed from the get-go but 
The question is, what is that counterbalance all about? Because that is really key to whether or not you buy into this concept or not. Today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner, Glencore Golf Holidays, and we are at Quinta da Marina in Cascai, Portugal. The hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the Portuguese sunshine, and the proximity to Lisbon Airport and nearby Cascai make it the perfect European golf destination. So if you like what you see in today's video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information. So we're gonna do two things in this video. The main one being, I suppose, is just how good does this club head perform in the hands of this average golfer? But maybe just as important is how good does this shaft perform? Because that's the interesting story for me in this driver shaft combination. First of all, the shaft itself is extremely lightweight. It's 43 grams, it's reg flex, everything would suggest that's maybe not for me. There's also some counterbalance weighting in the butt end of this club, and it's all designed to help you make that transition from the top of the backswing into the impact location with a squarer head pro profile. And that's also coupled with something that goes on in that head design as well, which I'll talk about a bit later. So a real interesting product. The question is, how does it perform? That's another solid drive and the exact sort of shot shape that I'm looking for. The interesting bit for me, that's another centre of the fairway, honestly. The other interesting bit for me is the stability of the shaft that I wouldn't quite expect from 43 gram reg. That's the bit that is quite surprising. One, I've got two options with this thing. I can take it easy and I can use that sort of whole tempo thing that I've referred to earlier uh, that it's intended to do. But also, if I just want to increase that tempo and that speed a little bit, which I tried to do there, then the, um, the, the, the shaft is perfectly stable enough to cope with that little bit of extra enthusiasm. And that bit surprises me a bit. Right, next thing to mention is the sort of address position and the way the crown looks because I mentioned it again from a visible perspective a little bit too much going on for my eye. However, what I will say is that uh, since playing the driver, watching how good it's performed, I've took very little notice whatsoever. So again, a contradiction in what I say. But when it sits there, the one thing without shadow it does is it very much frames the ball in the center of the club face. There is no argument with that at all. So from a visual perspective, I understand exactly what they're doing with those markings on the top of the crown and yet you cannot get that bit wrong. But the next thing after I've played this tee shot I want to talk about is this little raised element that you'll see on the crown. And again, what impact that has in squaring that club head up at impact, or at least what it's supposed to do. I just got that shot shape now, really comfortable with it. Left to right fade. I mean, I don't want to, uh, sound too cocky but that's in the middle of the fairway again the control element is really really good it almost creates a little bit of a pause at the top of the backswing for me in that sort of counterbalance shaft i don't know whether that's the shaft and the idea actually working or whether it's more of a physical state and it's something that i'm trying to adopt based on what this is supposed to do if that makes any sense Either way, I know that what it is doing is making a nice controlled tempo and uh, so far it's been very effective in the end result. Now you'll notice a change of clothing because I took this out for a third day of testing and uh, that proves two things is one that I really like this but one we thoroughly put it through its paces before we pass an opinion. So what do I think of this Zexio driver and the very first driver from their range that I've actually tried? Well I think there's a couple of um, well, pieces of feedback, I suppose, that I would uh, like to talk about. One is the performance of the club head in terms of just ball speeds, forgiveness, and how well I drove the ball over this past three days. And I've got to say, super impressed. Um, I've not got dry ball data. This is a purely on-course testing. In reality, what happens on the fairways? And like I said, it went as far as I would expect the ball to go in terms of relative to my club head speed. Then what about this claim that 
both in terms of the active wing technology and that weight in the butt, it actually helps and aids you squaring up at impact. Well, obviously, without any kind of sort of trackman data, I can't verify that. I can't see whether or not our club head was square or not. All I can feed back is that out on the course, I felt two things. One, we hit quite a lot of fairways. That could be testament to the fact that I'm just driving the ball quite well right now, or it could be down to the technology. But the biggest thing I noticed was this, and I mentioned it through the video, is the change in the sort of swing and tran transition from the top of the backswing that I made. And I said that I made it because of two reasons. Again, either because of the technology or because from a mental perspective, I was trying to make that physical change within the swing. Either way, what it did was slow me down, improve my tempo. So either way, the idea and concept worked. I had no issue with the light shaft whatsoever, but far different than again, what I was expecting and also expected to have some stability issues, which we never seen as well. So just overall massively impressed with the Zexio product. I've also reviewed a couple of irons, which again are super impressive. So yeah, a bit surprised, never tried it at all before. And all it wants, all, all it leads me to do is be very intrigued and want to try more of it. I'll be honest with you. But as I said in the video, let me know if you've ever tried any Zexio product. In this video, obviously this, which was out in 2022. So there's every chance you might've tried it. And I would love some feedback from others and let me know what your thoughts and experiences are of it. Right, we're all done. Thanks again to Glencore Golf and Quinta de Marina for hosting us. It is another fine day here. We'll carry on recording more videos and I will see you tomorrow night.